a warm thank you to uh, Jens Holm and Åsa Romsson for uh, hosting us uh, in the Swedish Parliament uh, today. Um, because without knowing a parliamentarian, we, you would not be uh, allowed into uh, these uh, fantastic uh, rooms and in the second chamber. Um, my name is Margot Wallström and um, I'm a member of the board of the Global Challenges Foundation and also the spokesperson for uh, this foundation. And it is a pleasure and an honor to be able to welcome all of you to uh, today's uh, conference. Um, <clears throat> of course, um, I, we are also happy that um, what Åsa and Jens uh, did uh, represents the network of parliamentarians through GLOBE, for example, that are willing uh, to um, address the problem of, of climate change and working over party lines to, um, to find ways forward. Um, <clears throat> we, um, of course, are happy to see here such a unique combination of um, skills, uh, many um, that so far has not uh, been part of the climate uh, uh, discussion. Uh, and uh, we think that they deserve uh, the attention that we hope to be able to give them uh, here today because we have in this room leading experts from the financial sector, national security experts, business leaders, scientists, policy makers and NGOs who all in different ways are, are trying to help reduce uh, emissions. Uh, of course I, I um, also would like to say a special welcome to uh, ambassadors and representatives of, of embassies uh, here in Stockholm uh, and uh, of course want to welcome the excellent panelists um, who are all world leading in, in their fields and we are grateful that they have found time in their very busy schedules to, uh, to come from different corners of, of the world to participate in today's event. And uh, just to make a short uh, presentation, um, as they are seated here on the, on the podium, you can uh, see Dennis Pamlin, who is a project manager uh, of Global uh, Challenges Foundation. Uh, he will very soon present the risk indicator um, and uh, at his side, Johan Rockström, Executive Director of Stockholm Resilience uh, Center. Bill Hare, uh, welcome. Uh, he is the founder and CEO of Climate An Analytics. Uh, and uh, uh, Kenneth Benedict, who is the Executive Director and publisher of the Bulletin of the Atomic Science, uh, Scientists. And we will have uh, on a video also the participation of Pan Yehua, who is a professor of economics and the director for the Institute for Urban and Environmental Studies at China's Academy of, of Social Sciences. Um, today, in conjunction with the IPCC release, we will launch the Global Risk Indicator and hopefully contribute to a much needed paradigm shift uh, where climate change is seen as a global risk but a risk that drives innovation and sustainable economic development. As all modern events, I should say, uh, to begin with also, we uh, have a hashtag for those of you who uh, Twitter. So for day, uh, today we have at Global Challenges, and I think you will see a, a sign also there uh, on the podium. In the first session, um, we will have contributions uh, that put the global risks into a broader context. Um, maybe you will not be able to read it, but we will just uh, put the, uh, some pictures up for you to be able to follow uh, the thinking and the planning of uh, today's uh, event. So we will look at the global risks um, uh, in the first session. In the second session, we will listen to contributions from experts um, from the financial sector. And the third session then will uh, look at risk from a security and global governance perspective. The final session uh, we will focus on concrete next steps from, from here. And in that final session we will also formally launch the global risk and opportunity uh, indicator with the numbers from IPCC's um, report that if everything goes according to plan will be official in an hour's time. And we will also present, finally, 
the Stockholm uh, 2013 Global Risk Declaration. I hope you have, um, I think the programs have been distributed so you can, you can follow. Uh, I, I guess that many of, of us who have been active and uh, participating in the debate on climate change sometimes have wished for um, a magician and loads of money to be able to address the problem. This is exactly what we have in the Global Challenges Foundation. Because we have Laszlo Sombat Falvi. And uh, what many might not know is that he once upon a time was a professional magician. Um, uh, and uh, I, through him, I want to, to or through presenting him, I want to give a bit of background to the Global Challenges Found Foundation. Um, he became a, an icon uh, in the financial community here in, in Sweden. Um, but uh, Laszlo has kept away from the public eye until now. And he still insists that ideas are more important than individuals, something that is quite unique these days. Um, he was born in Budapest in 1927. Following the Hungarian revolt in 1956, he fled the country and came to Sweden as a refugee. He became well known and respected, to say the least, on the Swedish stock market for his systematic um, method of risk assessment. And in 1987, he left the stock market and retired from active uh, business. Since then, he reflected on moral decisions. The, this resulted in a book about critical choices, where the final chapter became a separate book. The greatest challenges of our time. And you can find uh, some examples of the book, uh, copies of the book there. So please uh, help yourselves to, uh, to a book. During the last years, Laszlo has been concentrating on applying his risk-oriented approach to identifying and analyzing humanity's current uh, pro major problems. And in 2011, he established uh, the Global Challenges Foundation and put his fortune into uh, the foundation, um, wanting to, to use his, uh, his fortune to, for example, fight uh, climate change or what he calls the global, the global challenges. Um, the book, The Greater Challenges of Our Time, that provides much of the, the guidance for the foundation is available in six languages and have been read by leading decision makers uh, around the world. The foundation that was created in 2011 is based on the fact that the world community has created severe problems and threats to mankind associated with enormous risks. Climate change, as we've mentioned, other environmental damage, political violence, in combination with weapons of mass destruction, and of course, severe uh, poverty. And with unsustainable uh, consumption patterns spreading around the world, uh, a population <clears throat> that will grow to 9 to 10 billion by 2050, uh, this will increase the pressures uh, further. The foundation have two different but mutually supportive goals. First, to facilitate political uh, decisions to effective measures against global risks. And do this by increase the public awareness about global risks and their dimensions. And secondly, by strengthening global cooperation and accelerating the development of a 21st century global governance system. The strategy behind the foundation is based on Laszlo's rigorous and systematic work to analyze and understand the complex relations between global risks, their causes and correlations. This is a nightmarish picture to uh, present like this. We are not, well, yes, we will give you a test afterwards when you leave. But, but uh, this is just to, to say that on this image uh, taken from the book, The Greatest Challenges of Our Time, uh, <clears throat> just illustrates the complexity uh, climate change is, is uh, highlighted in the, in the circle. And the need for a systematic and integrated approach is obvious when the global challenges are seen together. 
Uh, and if you haven't yet uh, read the book, it can also be downloaded from the Foundation's webpage at, at no cost. It is also in this reality that the global risk and opportunity should be viewed. From the Foundation's perspective, uh, it is also a part of our work to help support a global governance system for the 21st century that is cap capable of addressing things that that are the greatest uh, challenges of our time. The indicator is one part, but the foundation also have other projects underway that will explore different ways uh, to strengthen global uh, collaborations um, in this important uh, area. So this is a little of the, of the background and we are happy to have Laszlo here uh, for uh, this morning's um, session. Now it's uh, immediately time to uh, take a closer look at the main reason we have gathered here today, a global risk perspective and the launch of the global risk and opportunity indicator. So I will, uh, with um, no further ado, uh, hand over to um, Dennis Pamlin, who is the project manager at the Global Challenges Foundation and the one who led the uh, development of the uh, in indicator. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you. We are uh, very proud and happy that you wanted to join us for what we hope will be a fruitful discussion uh, over uh, this Friday. Thank you.